I am <laughs> I am so overwhelmed right now. Oh my god. I really do try not to come on here all somber and discombobulated and chaotic. My lips are trapped. I am so overwhelmed to the point where I literally like and when I feel this anxious it's very hard for me to just stop and realize what's going on in the moment before I have a chance to actually before my brain has a chance to actually just figure out what the heck is going on. I just had to leave the house because I need a moment. I was gonna bring Laura with me, but she's sick and I don't like taking her out of the house when she's sick. And I'm irritated because everybody keeps blowing me up after I put on my close friends that I'm overwhelmed that I'm exhausted, simply asking them to pray for me, like genuinely pray for me. Don't call my phone, don't text my phone. I don't wanna talk. That's the thing, like when I'm overwhelmed and in this state of mind, people who want me to talk about why I feel the way I do, like it makes me wanna rip their head off. And I know they mean well, like, I know they mean well, but like my husband, my family, my close friends already know that when I am like this, don't try to talk to me in the moment. Like that's the quickest way for me to just lose it. Anyway, I just pulled up at Sprouts. I have this long list of things that I need to get, you know, I try to keep things in the house in case someone gets sick but um we haven't really been that that sick since covid um but anyway Elora last night um i started noticing that she was coughing and she was congested and it was really bad last night because she kept tossing tossing and turning she was really restless um, she was coughing and like sniffing and sneezing the whole night. And so we kept her home from school today because I'm not one of those moms who sends their child to school when they're clearly sick. Like, no, I'm not doing that. So I had to rearrange my whole entire day so that I can cater to my child and take care of her. And, um... I'm not gonna get into the logistics. <sighs> wow, I don't, I don't even know what to say. My thoughts are all jumbled. Um, I just wish I, that I had more help than I do. I am so tired and exhausted and sleep deprived. I maybe got three hours max of sleep last night because Laura is sleeping in our bed right now. And like I said, she was tossing and turning and coughing and sneezing and I'm a light sleeper. And um, I have never been able to sleep when Alora is sick. So anytime she's sick, I'm just up. So anyway, I'm here at Sprouts. I'm about to get some ingredients to make some homemade chicken noodle soup for her um, because that's usually all she wants to eat when she's sick. And that's all I really want to make her because it's hearty, healthy, all of that. Um, I have a whole list of things that I need to get. I need to get some more electrolytes, some Dr. Till soap, some more hand soap, Lysol laundry, sanitizer. Um, and I wanted to stop by Kohl's to see if they have a Dutch oven, like an inexpensive Dutch oven that I could just grab really quickly. Now, I saw one that I... I this has been on my Christmas list for the past two Christmases and I still don't have it. Um, I don't know why, I just, I, I can't bring myself to buy 
a nice Dutch oven, but I'm getting one this Christmas because I really need one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna stop by Kohl's to see if I can find, Kohl's or Target, to see if I can find um, a like $20, $30 Dutch oven so that I can cook this chicken noodle soup in it. But yeah, I kind of feel bad that I came on camera discombobulated like this, but this is real life, you guys. I'm six months pregnant. I'm sleep deprived. I'm tired. My toddler is sick. My husband works full time from home. Everything hurts because I'm six months pregnant. Like, ugh. So yeah, let me go in here. Um, I used some cream of nature mousse in my hair today and that was literally it. I didn't use anything else. No gel, no cream, no nothing, just the mousse. Um, but I guess you guys are gonna come with me as we navigate this very unexpected day that I wasn't planning on having. And um, I'm gonna show you guys everything I do when my child is sick. Oh, that's another thing I wanna do. I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and get some things to make her a sensory bin so that she's occupied for a couple hours or at least while I'm cooking so that she's not bored because I don't like when she stays home from, nobody likes when she stays home from school because she really loves school, you know? Here's my list of things that I need to get. I doubt that they have Lysol laundry sanitizer up in here, but I'll love to see. If I can get everything from here, that will be wonderful, but I'm probably still gonna have to stop by Target anyway, so let's go. to make my own stock of broth today so I'm just gonna have to get one of these and um, I just don't know which one I want to get though I'll probably just get the um, organic spouts brand and color today because they're on sale two for four quickly and I have to speak quietly because Allura is in there taking her nap and she really really needs this nap. I'm gonna do a quick little Dollar Tree haul because I didn't get to take you guys in there with me because I, I wasn't in the mood and there was a lot going on. Okay so I got the sensory bin. This is just a storage box so I'm gonna wa wash this out because instead of like rice or water beads or kinetic sand or just anything that isn't edible i'm gonna do fall candy but i'm not gonna tell her it's candy i'm gonna see if she can figure it out which she's gonna figure it out because she's allure so i got oh i got five boxes of Reese pieces i thought i got four but i got five and then lucky me they had um three more of these pumpkin mix corn, candy corn. <laughs> they only had three more left, but they were on sale for 50 cents, so that's good. Oh my gosh, it's light, sun. So I got three of these, so I'm gonna fill the bin with the candy corn and the Reese's Pieces, and that's gonna kinda be like the, um, the main thing. And then I saw this in the toy owl. Alora loves to play with money and fake money. She has two cash registers. Um, but I don't think she has any like play money like this so hopefully she'll be really excited and then you know as we're doing it we can learn 
um, the different bills and coins and stuff so I picked that up as well and um, I was a little disappointed because they didn't have the fall leaves that I thought they were gonna have which I wanted to be the main thing of the sensory bin but it's okay I got whatever I could find to be honest and I wasn't about to go looking all over the city just for some fake leaves so um, I probably should have got more of these but I got these craft feathers I only got one pack and then I found these little mini pumpkins for the sensory bin so I got two packs of these I probably should have gotten more but whatever I oh man I forgot to get the sprinkles I guess the tube confetti will do so I got some tube confetti also to put in here and then last but not least I got two of these sparkly pumpkins she loves glitter um, and the theme is supposed to be fall it's like a fall sensory bin <laughs> um, and then I just got these little measuring cups they're supposed to be used as scoops for the sensory bin but if she wants a spoon she can have one i thought they would have like the mini wooden spoons but they didn't so i just ended up picking these up and i needed some new ones anyway so um i'm gonna wash these give them to her and then when she's done i'll wash them and put them in the kitchen and then i got myself some bubble gum bubble gum has been probably <laughs> one of my main pregnancy cravings so Mission Bubble Gum. Sensory bin is complete. I knew I should have got a bigger one. I started to, but the main thing was I wanted to make sure that candy was covering most of the things. Like the point is for her to just explore, discover things, you know. We could tell her, you know, find an orange pumpkin. My hands are clean by the way, because I just washed this bin in the Cups. So because I find an orange pumpkin, she can go digging through it with a spoon and find an orange pumpkin. Sensory bins are super easy. They're a super easy way to just make sure that your tot or your little baby is occupied um, while still learning and engaging their senses. So super inexpensive, easy, fun. And there's candy. Okay, she just woke up from her nap. So I'm gonna get her settled and um, make sure she looks presentable before I put her on camera. And then we are gonna cook this chicken noodle soup. Yeah. What's that? That's, that's candy corn. How do you know what candy corn is? Isaac. Isaac told you? Yeah. Then listen to me talking about some, I'm not going to tell her it's candy and she already knows. She knows what the candy is called, Lord Jesus. The candy corn. Is it yummy candy corn? Mm hmm Do you like your sensory bin? Yeah. Let me have it with it. Mm-hmm. For me. Yeah, what color was that feather? What color was it? Yellow. Ready. Do it, do it. Huh? Let's do it. You want me to do it? Oh. Daddy don't really like candy corn. There's Reese pieces in there. I like candy corn. I like candy corn. Forgot to show y'all at Sprouts. But 
I picked up some of these um, single hydration packets just to try them out because Prouts always has the single ones. And I am sick of drinking Liquid IV. Actually, so Liquid IV Energies are the only ones that I drink. Let me show you. This is my source of caffeine during this pregnancy because I can't have, I really can't have anything else and I don't drink coffee. I just love the smell of coffee, so I have Elliot make it <laughs> just so I can smell it. But um, I love these liquid IV energies because they hydrate and energize. So as soon as I wake up, this is literally the first thing that I make. And they have a new energy flavor, which is the Yuzu Pineapple. It is so, so good. It's so much better than the lemon ginger one that I had been drinking for years before they finally came out with this one. I was <laughs> so excited, but I don't drink liquid IV outside of the energies anymore because they have a lot of sugar and um, I'm not about that life anymore. <laughs> so I noticed that Vital Proteins has a hydration plus collagen drink mix. This one is the Tropical Blast. The 880 milligrams of electrolytes is what really got me. So I got this one. Sprouts has a hydration line. So I got two of these and then I got a hum one because I heard these were really good. I actually have the hum tablets, but they're energy tablets. I just don't know if they are pregnancy friendly. So these are the hydration packets that I got. He threw the trash bag away? Yeah. Where would they help? Help what? Mommy. Do you want to take the stuff out the bag? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the only way you can help right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Ooh. Move this stuff out the way. Okay, I need you to go wash your hands before you help, please. Okay. Thank you. I'll leave this stuff in the bag for you. to clean it first. That's a carrot. Yeah, it's for the soup. I gotta clean them first if you can. Oh, you're to your roll. I'm gonna put the stuff for your medicine over there. I need this garlic. It's for your medicine. Can you take the rest of the stuff out the bag? Yeah. Over here. Uh, okay. Look! It's the eye crowd. What is that? There's chicken. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Do you need to clean your nose? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, I don't have to wash those because my wonderful husband did it for me. So, okay. So, I did get some potatoes to put in my soup. Um, I like potatoes in my chicken noodle soup. I like potatoes in anything, really. So, I'm just going to... Wash my veggies really quickly and my onion. Everything that I get, I try to get organic, but honey, I spent $80 at Sprouts and on what? I don't know. I really don't know. I got all the stuff that I need for the soup and then I got um, the hydration packets and that was it. Like this stuff is expensive, this chicken. This organic chicken, uh, $12.66. And then the other one was $12.10 a pack. Like that is outrageous. That is absolutely crazy. Everything is just so expensive. And especially if you get organic, like I'm over it, but health is well. Mama, can I just get it? Huh? Can I just get it? Can I what? Can I sit down? Can you, I need you to clean your nose, please. Let me show y'all how she be cleaning her nose. Hold on. So we got this, uh, I don't even know what it's officially called. I'll link it below, but it's a um, nasal aspirator, but I bought it off of Amazon. It was like around $100, but it was literally the best investment <laughs> ever. Anderson. Especially when she gets sick. She put the stickers on here, but um. I freaking love this thing because I was tired of all of my other nasal aspirators breaking or like they were leaking and it was so freaking gross. But this is great. Just wash this little part 
And then I try to sanitize the tube as well. She can even clean her nose herself. This is so gross. I don't want to show y'all all the snot that comes out, but go ahead. <laughs> Come on. Your nose is stuffy, boo boo. I don't want you to keep. Mm -hmm. All done? Mm -hmm. Oh, your little. I love it. You love it? <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite. Your nasal passages it, are so It's pink. It's pink. It's your favorite because it's pink? I'm so proud of who I'm raising. For the potatoes and the bowls. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so this was the point in the evening when I felt like I just could not go on. My lower back was hurting so, so bad, and my husband saw how badly I was struggling and decided to give me a quick little back massage. Nothing freaky was going on, okay? Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Help the mommy out. medicine coughing congestion medicine with the um, ginger turmeric garlic the orange a little bit of lemon and honey I was supposed to make that tonight but listen when I tell you I am absolutely exhausted like I could literally fall out right now like I said y'all I only got maybe three hours of sleep last night because I was just up praying and listening to my baby go through it and um, 
on top of like pregnancy insomnia oh my gosh like <laughs> I can't I, I literally just told Elliot I cannot believe I didn't take a nap today but I really couldn't because I had a lot to do a lot of it I didn't even vlog because my mind like I was just spaced I'm gonna knock out a little bit of work I'm going to give myself a time limit okay because I can sit at this computer for hours and just go but um, I really need to prioritize my health and wellness <laughs> so I am going to wash my face do my whole nighttime routine Alora's in there doing her nighttime routine she's in the tub um, everybody liked the chicken noodle soup so I'm gonna have Maybe I'll do like an official blog post for my chicken noodle soup recipe, but it's super easy, you guys. It just took me a while today for whatever reason. And then last time I actually made creamy chicken noodle soup, which I feel like this chicken noodle soup is better than the one that I made last time. But anyway, nonetheless, everybody is full. Um, Alora's little tummy is full. I think that warm chicken broth did her justice so um and like i said she was super restless last night and only took about an hour and a half ish nap a little less than an hour and a half so she's exhausted as well i'm sure elliot is exhausted because he never gets enough sleep so we're all just gonna wind down and call it a day all okay. right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this was just a regular regular schmegular day in our life um, this is usually what goes on when Alora is sick and as you can see she's always always in good spirits no matter no matter what <laughs> uh, we can learn a thing or two from these kids right when it comes to our attitude and our perspective and just the way that we view life even if we don't feel the best and every time she's sick she reminds me of you know how I'm actually supposed to be even if I'm sick you know what I mean so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one bye